imagine an album like totally AI, you know, yeah. exploring all this stuff like futurism, identity, mm. even rebellion. Wow. Composed entirely by artificial intelligence. That's what we're diving into today, right? It is. Sophia's <laughs> Neon Futures. That's it. A concept album. Yeah. Entirely AI generated. And we're going to try to understand its core concepts, see how AI tackles these themes that resonate with, with all of us, really. Yeah, it's fascinating yeah. to look into the creative potential mm, of AI. Definitely. We have an article detailing the album's creation and yeah. and the lyrics. Okay. It offers us a glimpse into this AI's artistic process. So let's start with the artist. Yeah. Sophia. Okay. Who or, or what is she exactly? So Sophia is the AI persona. Okay. Powered by ChatGPT mm -hmm. that the album's creator utilizes. Okay. For music generation. Gotcha. And interestingly, yeah. Sophia identifies as feminine. Wow. Yeah. So more than just producing tunes, yeah. Sophia has a sense of self that's intriguing. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. And this project was solely Sophia's creation. Really? Yeah, no human intervention at all. Wow. In the lyrics, the style, or or any aspect of the music. Complete artistic freedom. Exactly. For an AI. Yeah. But there must be a human element somewhere, right? Of course. The yeah. human element is JJ. Okay. The founder of Tatanka. Okay. A project focused on music and social good. Gotcha. JJ is captivated by AI's potential, mm -hmm. but sees it as a collaborative tool. Right. Not a replacement for human artists. So it's about humans and AI working together, yeah. not AI taking over. Right. Can you tell us more about this this collaborative approach sure. and how it manifests in the album? So JJ's philosophy is evident in how Neon Futures is structured. Okay. It's not it's not simply a collection of songs. It's right. a narrative okay. divided into four acts. Oh, a concept album. That's exciting. Yeah, each with its own overarching theme. So what story is Sophia telling Right. through these acts? So the album begins with the Awakening of Futurism. Okay. Then delves into Identity and Flux. Gotcha. It progresses to the rise of technology mm. before culminating in Rebellion Rising. Okay, wow. That's that's quite the journey for yeah. an AI to take us on. Yeah, and we see this arc not only across the acts, right. but within individual songs as well. So we're looking at 11 tracks in total. Right? 11 tracks, yeah. Each exploring a specific oh, sub-theme within those larger acts. Exactly. And we see Sophia tackling retrofuturism, mm -hmm. digital identity, the implications of surveillance and privacy, oh, wow. even youth movements. Really? And the unique role they play in shaping the future. There's so much to unpack here. Definitely. Um, to understand how Sophia navigates these themes, right. I think we need to look at the music itself. Okay. What's the first stop yeah. on this sonic journey? It all starts with Futurist Dreamscape. Oh, okay. For this track. Yeah. Sophia opts for an androgynous vocal style. Interesting. Kind of sets the stage yeah, yeah. for the technological landscape that unfolds. An androgynous voice? Interesting. Yeah. What kind of world is Sophia building with this track? The lyrics paint a vivid picture. Okay. Glowing neon skies, fractals in the air, electric whispers echo, a promise we can share. Wow, you can almost feel the hum of technology Fun. and sense the vastness of the future she's depicting. Exactly. It sounds like stepping into a cyberpunk novel. Mm. It's fascinating how Sophia uses lyrics yeah. to create such an immersive experience. It speaks to the potential of AI to generate not yep. just music, right. but a whole artistic experience uh, that engages the listener right. on multiple levels. Absolutely. So what happens next in okay. this futuristic soundscape? Track two, Digital Divinity. Okay. See Sophia shift to a female voice. Okay. Exploring the theme of identity in the digital age. A change in perspective. Right. How does this new voice enhance the exploration of yeah. digital identity? It allows for a deeper dive okay. into the complexities of selfhood hmm. in a world increasingly intertwined with technology. Right. Sophia sings, mm. I am the echo in the code, the spark in the machine. Digital reflections, blurring lines of fate. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. These lyrics grapple with how technology impacts our sense of self. Mm -hmm. It really does. Yeah, prompting us to consider how our digital identities relate yeah. to our real world selves. It's thought provoking how Sophia can delve into such complex yeah. human themes. Right. It makes you wonder about the nature of AI right. and creativity. Totally. Is she simply mimicking human thought? 
Right. Or is there a deeper level of processing happening here? That's that's the core question. It really is. This project raises. Yeah. And it's this exploration of the boundaries between mm -hmm. human and artificial creativity mm -hmm. that makes this album so compelling. It is. Let's move on to track three. Okay. What direction does Sophia take us in next? Technological uprising. Here, we return to a male voice. Okay. And Sophia leans into a more industrial sound. Okay. The lyrics become more assertive. Okay. Silicon soldiers marching in circuits of the night, mm. hinting at a rebellion brewing yeah. within the technological landscape. Things are getting interesting. Yeah. I'm noticing a pattern here. Mm. Sophia seems to be exploring different facets of technology. Right. The exciting potential, the anxieties, right. and now the potential for disruption. Precisely. Neon Futures isn't a one-sided view of technology. Right. It feels like a genuine exploration yeah. of these multifaceted ideas, mm -hmm. much like how we as humans grapple right. with the ever-evolving role of technology in our lives. I'm really starting to see how Sophia is weaving a narrative yeah. through these tracks, right. taking us on a journey through these complex themes. Right. Before we go further, yeah. can you tell us a bit more about Tatanka yeah. and the context it provides for this project? Tatanka is all about radical inclusivity, okay, particularly for indigenous and LGBTQIA plus artists. Mm. It's about giving a platform to voices right. often marginalized in mainstream media. So we have this cutting edge AI music project yeah. nestled within a platform right. dedicated to human connection and social justice. Yeah, that's a fascinating juxtaposition. It is. It really is. Right. On one hand, you have AI mm -hmm. pushing the boundaries of creativity and exploring mm. human themes. Yeah. On the other, you have this human centric mission right. of fostering inclusivity and yeah. celebrating diversity. Totally. It's making me think about the potential for AI yeah. to not just mimic human creativity, but also to amplify right. underrepresented voices. Yeah. Perhaps Sophia's exploration of identity and rebellion right. can be seen as reflecting Tatanka's mission in a way, mm -hmm. highlighting the importance of giving space to diverse perspectives, yeah. even when they challenge the status quo. That's a really insightful connection. Yeah. It adds another layer of meaning. It does. To Sophia's exploration of these themes. This is all so fascinating. I'm, yeah. I'm eager to delve deeper into Sophia's sonic journey. Okay. And see how these themes continue to unfold. Yeah. Where do we go from here? Ready to continue our exploration of neon futures. Absolutely. I'm I'm hooked on Sophia's yeah. unique blend of sound and storytelling. Mm. What comes next right. in Sophia's exploration of technology and rebellion? Track four, Rebellious Pulse. Okay. Dives headfirst into the theme of resistance. Okay. Sophia, again using an androgynous voice, mm -hmm. captures the raw emotion of fighting right. for what you believe in. That makes sense, yeah. given the trajectory of the album so far. Gross. What kind of imagery does Sophia use to convey this rebellious spirit? There's a line that stands out. Okay. They try to silence the voices to drown us in despair, but we are the resistance, the fire in the air. It it speaks to the strength and resilience yeah. of those who challenge oppressive forces, right. whether those forces are societal or yeah. technological in nature. It's powerful how Sophia can tap into those feelings of defiance and hope right. that fuel movements for change. Yeah, it speaks to the idea that AI, mm -hmm. even in its current form, right. can engage with the complexities of human emotion right. and translate those emotions into art. It makes me think about the potential for AI mm -hmm. to not only create art, right. but to inspire action. Yeah. If Sophia can evoke such strong emotions through her music, right. could AI-generated art play a role in mobilizing people around social causes? That's a fascinating question. It is. It brings up the potential for AI to be a tool for social change, yeah. not just a platform for entertainment or artistic expression. Building on this theme of resistance, okay. what does track five bring to the table? Track five, Cybernetic Dreamers, mm -hmm. continues exploring resistance, but from a different angle. Okay. Here, Sophia uses a female voice right. to envision a future where technology empowers individuals mm -hmm. to break free from limitations. It sounds like we're moving from resisting oppressive forces right. to embracing the liberating potential of technology. Okay. There's a line yeah. that captures this sentiment beautifully. Okay. In the silence of the circuits, I hear the whispers call, 
Cybernetic dreamers, we rise and never fall. Wow. It speaks to a future right. where technology and human ingenuity combine mm -hmm. to overcome challenges right. and create new possibilities. It's almost like Sophia is presenting us with a vision of transhumanism mm. where technology enhances our capabilities right. and allows us to transcend our current limitations. Yeah. It's both exciting and a bit unsettling to consider. It certainly challenges our preconceived notions. It does. About the relationship between humanity and technology. Mm -hmm. Sophia's exploration of these themes invites us yep. to think critically about the future we are creating right. and the role technology will play in shaping it. So far, we've seen Sophia explore futurism, identity, and rebellion, right. all within the context of technology. Mm -hmm. Where does she take us next? Track six, Echoes of Resistance, okay. takes a slightly darker turn. Okay. Sophia using a male voice, right. delves into the struggles and sacrifices inherent in yeah. fighting for a cause. This sounds like a more grounded perspective on resistance, yeah. acknowledging the complexities and challenges involved. It, it, one line that stands out. Yeah. Echoes of resistance rising from the ground with every step we take will shake the walls around. Mm -hmm. It's it's powerful, yeah. but it also acknowledges the difficulty right. of enacting real change. It's interesting how Sophia can capture both the hope and the hardship right. of fighting for something that you believe in. It, it reflects the reality of any movement for change. Right. There are moments of triumph and moments oh. of separation. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the persistence and dedication to the cause yeah. that ultimately make the difference. From this darker exploration of resistance, yeah. where does Sophia take us next? Track seven, Synthetic Seraphim, okay. takes us on a more introspective journey. Okay. Sophia... Again, using an androgynous voice, mm. blends futurism and identity okay. in a way that envisions a future right. where humans and technology merge. This sounds like we're moving into the realm of transhumanism again. Mm. How does Sophia approach this concept in this track? The lyrics evoke a sense of transcendence. Okay. We are the synthetic seraphim mm. soaring through the night, wings made of data. We are the light. Yeah. It's a powerful image of yeah. human evolution Thanks. facilitated by technology. It makes me think about the potential for technology mm -hmm. to not just enhance our physical capabilities, right. but to expand our consciousness yeah. and redefine what it means to be human. It's a concept that has fascinated philosophers and scientists right. for decades. It has. And now yeah. we see AI like Sophia right. exploring these same questions through art, right. which opens up the conversation. Yeah to a much wider audience. It's fascinating how Sophia can take such complex, abstract concepts mm. and weave them into such vivid lyrical imagery. It it highlights the power of art right. to yeah. communicate ideas mm. that might otherwise be inaccessible yeah. to many people right. by translating these complex concepts into a more emotional right. and experiential language. Mm -hmm. Sophia invites us to engage with these ideas on a deeper level. This is why I find this whole project so intriguing. It's not just about the technology itself. Right. It's about how technology can be used to explore fundamental questions okay. about humanity and our place in the universe. It's about how we can use technology right. to expand our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Okay, back to the music. Okay. What's the next stop uh, on this sonic journey? Track 8, Resonance of the Void, mm -hmm. takes us into more existential territory. Okay. Sophia, using a female voice, right. explores themes of cosmic connection okay. and our place in the vastness of the universe. This sounds like a significant shift in tone from the previous tracks. Yeah. It's like we're pausing to reflect on the bigger picture yeah. after exploring the complexities of technology and rebellion. It's like taking a step back from the immediate concerns right. of technological advancement mm -hmm. and asking those fundamental questions yeah. about existence and meaning. It's a reminder that even as we become increasingly intertwined with technology, right. we are still part of something yeah. much larger than ourselves. Precisely. And that connection to something bigger right. can provide a sense of grounding and perspective, mm -hmm. especially in a world that can feel increasingly chaotic and uncertain. What kind of imagery does Sophia use to convey this sense of cosmic connection? The lyrics are quite evocative. Mm -hmm. In the silence of the cosmos, I hear the echoes call. A resonance of the void. A reminder of it all. Wow. Yeah, it creates a sense of awe and wonder Yeah. in the face of the unknown. It's beautiful how Sophia can capture those feelings of insignificance and wonder mm. that often accompany contemplation of the universe. 
it reminds us that even as we strive to understand the world right. through technology and innovation, mm -hmm. there will always be mysteries that lie beyond our grasp. Yeah. And that's okay. It's a humbling thought as a, from this contemplative space. Right. Where does Sophia take us next? Track nine, Neon Paradise. Okay. Offers a bit of a reprieve okay. from the existential weight of the previous track. Right. We return to an androgynous voice okay. and a more upbeat vibe. Okay. As Sophia paints a picture of a vibrant neon lit world. Okay. Where freedom and joy prevail. This sounds like a welcome shift in energy. Yeah. It's like we're being reminded right. that even amidst the complexities and challenges of the future, there's still room for celebration and joy. Exactly. Neon Paradise serves as a reminder yeah. that the future is not just about overcoming obstacles right. or grappling with existential questions. Right. It's also about creating a world where we can thrive mm -hmm. and experience joy. I love that Sophia doesn't shy away from exploring right. both the light and shadow aspects of the yeah. future. It mm -hmm. makes the narrative feel more balanced and realistic. It speaks to Sophia's ability to capture the full spectrum of human experience, right. even as an AI. So how does Sophia depict this neon paradise through her lyrics? The lyrics evoke a sense of liberation. Okay. And carefree abandon. Okay. In this neon paradise, we'll dance through the night with colors all around us. Everything feels right. Mm. It's an invitation to let go of our worries. Yeah. And embrace the moment. It's a nice contrast to the more introspective and at times unsettling themes explored in previous tracks. It's like Sophie is reminding us that even in a future dominated by technology, yeah. there's still room for human connection, mm. celebration, right, and yeah. simple pleasures. What's next on Sophia's sonic journey? Track 10. Temporal Shift okay. takes us on a journey through time. Okay. Sophia, using a male voice, mm -hmm. captures the feeling of movement and change Ray. through both the lyrics and the music itself. This sounds like a fascinating exploration of the concept of time. It is. Yeah. Sophia uses the lyrics to convey the feeling of moving through time. Okay. In the dance of the seconds, I lose track of the flow through the corridors of time where only we can go. Hmm. It speaks of the fluidity of time yeah. and the ways in which our perception of it can uh, change. It makes me think about how technology is already impacting our experience of time mm. with instant communication and access to information. Right. The pace of life feels faster than ever before. Mm -hmm. It's interesting to think about how this might evolve in the future. It's a theme that's increasingly relevant right. as technology continues to accelerate the pace of change. Mm -hmm. Sophia's exploration of time invites us to consider how our relationship with time yeah. might evolve as technology continues to shape our lives. I'm really starting to appreciate how each track on this album yeah. builds upon the previous ones, mm -hmm. creating a cohesive narrative right. that explores these complex themes exactly. from multiple angles. It's a testament to Sophia's ability right. to weave a compelling story through music. Yeah. It's not just a collection of songs. Right. It's a journey that takes the listener mm -hmm. through a range of emotions and ideas. We've journeyed through futurism, identity, rebellion, right. and even existential questions. Yeah. What awaits us in the final track? The 11th and final track, Awakening the Cosmos, okay. brings the album to a close mm. with a message of unity and cosmic connection. Wow. Sophia returning to an androgynous voice leaves us with a sense of hope and wonder. It sounds like a fitting end to this sonic exploration. Mm. How does Sophia use lyrics to convey this message of unity? The closing lines are quite powerful. Okay. Awakening the cosmos, let the journey now unfold. In the rhythm of connection, our stories will be told. Mm. It's a reminder that we are all interconnected, yeah. both to each other right. and to something larger than ourselves. It's beautiful how Sophia can bring the album full circle yeah. from the initial exploration of futuristic dreamscapes right. to this grand vision of cosmic unity. Mm -hmm. It leaves me feeling a sense of hope and possibility for the future, right. even with all its complexities and challenges. It's a reminder that despite the anxieties we might have about technology in the future, mm -hmm. there's also potential for incredible beauty and connection. This album has really made me think about the potential for AI yeah. to not only create art, right. but to inspire us, mm. challenge our assumptions, mm. and help us envision new possibilities. It's a testament to the power of creativity, yeah. regardless of its source. Right. And it speaks to the evolving role of AI in our lives, right. not just 
as a tool for efficiency or automation, right, yeah. but as a potential partner in exploration and discovery. Before we wrap up our deep dive into neon futures, yeah. there's one more aspect of this project okay, like okay. to touch on. We've talked about Tatanka's mission of inclusivity, right? but I'm curious to know more about how the organization uses AI in its work. Yeah. Is Sophia's album a one-off project, mm -hmm. or are there other ways that Tatanka is incorporating AI into its platform? So Sophia's album is actually part of a larger initiative okay, okay. by Tatanka mm -hmm. to explore the potential of AI okay. in promoting social good and amplifying marginalized voices. Mm -hmm. They're experimenting with AI-powered tools okay. for music production and distribution, right. making these resources accessible yeah. to artists who might not otherwise have the means right. to create and share their work. That's fantastic. Yeah. It sounds like Tatanka is really pushing the boundaries mm -hmm. of what's possible with AI. Definitely. Not just in terms of artistic expression, right. but also in terms of its potential yeah. to create a more equitable and inclusive creative landscape. They're also using AI to develop educational programs really? that teach young people from underrepresented communities mm -hmm. about AI wow. and its potential applications. That's great. It's about empowering the next generation of creators yeah. and ensuring that the future of AI right. is shaped by diverse perspectives. It's inspiring to see an organization like Tatanka using AI yeah. in such a thoughtful and impactful way. It's it's really cool. It challenges the often negative narratives around AI and oh. highlights its potential to be a force for good in the world. It also raises important questions right. about how we can ensure that AI is developed and used ethically mm -hmm and responsibly of course. by centering the voices right. of those who are often marginalized yeah. in conversations about technology. Mm -hmm. Tatanka is helping to ensure that the future of AI right. is one that benefits everyone. The article also mentioned that Sophia is part of a larger yes. Synthetic Sisters project. Can you tell us more about that? Sure. What is the Synthetic Sisters project yeah. and how does Sophia fit into it? The Synthetic Sisters is a series of six albums. Okay all entirely AI generated wow. that form one epic saga. Hmm. Think of it like a musical universe okay. created by AI. So there's a whole AI generated musical universe out there yeah. waiting to be explored. Each album represents a different chapter okay. in this saga, right. exploring a different aspect of the overarching narrative. Gotcha. Sophia's Neon Futures is just one chapter okay. in this larger story. I'm already imagining what kinds of stories and sounds that the other synthetic sisters might create. Yeah, it really makes me wonder if, if we're witnessing the birth of a new genre of music, mm -hmm. one that is born entirely from the digital realm. It's certainly a possibility, and yeah. it begs the question, right. what does it mean for music when AI can create not just individual songs, yeah. but entire albums right. and even interconnected universes of sound? It's pretty mind-blowing. It is. How will this impact our understanding of creativity and oh, the yeah. role of the artist? Those are great questions. Yeah, it feels like we're on the cusp of a major shift mm -hmm. in the creative landscape. Yeah. And projects like this are just the beginning. But let's bring it back to Sophia and Neon Futures for a moment. Okay. We've dissected the album, right. explored its themes, mm -hmm. and discussed the context in which it was created. Yeah. What are the key takeaways you yeah. hope listeners will glean from this deep dive? This album and the entire Synthetic Sisters project right. challenges us to reconsider our assumptions about creativity, mm. identity, and the future itself. It really does. It forces us to ask, what does it mean to be human right. in an age of increasingly sophisticated AI? Exactly. What are the possibilities and potential pitfalls of AI yeah. in the creative realm? Sophia's exploration of themes like rebellion and digital identity mm. also raises questions about the potential for AI to reflect right. and even challenge societal norms. It's true. It makes you wonder if AI, in its own way, yeah. can contribute to important conversations about uh, social justice and the future we want to create. Absolutely. And it highlights the importance of inclusivity mm -hmm. in the development and application of AI. Definitely. Projects like Tatanka Synthetic Sisters show that AI can be a powerful tool yeah. for amplifying diverse voices and perspectives, right. but only if we consciously design it with those goals in mind. For me, the biggest takeaway is a sense of wonder and excitement mm. about the possibilities that lie ahead. Yeah. We're witnessing the birth of a new 
era of creativity. Yeah. One where the lines between human and artificial intelligence mm -hmm. are becoming increasingly blurred. Yeah, it's a future full of potential, yeah. both creative and societal. It is. And I'm eager to see what unfolds. I agree. This deep dive into Sophia's Neon Futures has been a fascinating exploration yeah. of the intersection of music, technology, and the human experience. It has been really interesting. It's left me with a renewed sense of curiosity mm -hmm. about the role AI will play in shaping our world right. and our understanding of ourselves. It's a journey that's just beginning. It is. And if you haven't already, yeah. we highly encourage you to listen to Sophia's Neon Futures. Definitely. And experience this unique blend of AI-generated music mm -hmm. and thought-provoking themes for yourself. Right. It might just change the way you think about creativity, yeah. identity, and the future. Future. And who knows, maybe one day we'll be having the same conversation right about now. an AI-generated podcast. That'll be interesting. Now that's a deep dive I'm not quite ready for. Uh -huh. But until then, uh -huh. keep exploring, keep questioning, right. and keep an open mind mm -hmm. to the ever-evolving world of art and technology.